Bienvenido a Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, the headquarters of the Hispanic Association on Corporate Responsibility and our Young Hispanic Corporate Achievers Program. We have a great 2016 class of YHCAers who come from Fortune 500 companies and have been identified as the future executives, future corporate directors, the future of corporate America. So we are so excited for this year's class. The 2016 class is our 10th class and of course I believe that the Latino community is progressing, we're getting better and better and 10 years now we have a class that is absolutely amazing. And there are so many whose dream is to be just like you, just like you as you are right now. Our job here is to prepare them. They're going to learn 10 strategies of success. They're going to tap into their emotional intelligence. They're going to learn about their culture and the unique ways that Latinos lead. And they're also going to have some time to really do some reflection around where am I going and how do I get there? Uno, dos, tres. Who's a Hispanic leader you admire? Tell your partner. And the exercise we did uh, most recently was the speed dating exercise. We had eight questions that we each had to uh, you know, rotate one at a time, one or two minutes each one. And one question in particular was about the value that Latinos bring to the corporate America. The way I feel about that is, pick Latinos, we bring a human element to this. We are very passionate. Just one look at you, and I know it's gonna be. came in sort of not entirely uh, expecting to be as engaged as it has been since the minute I sat down. I have a background of 11 years of experience within the industry. The elevator speech is about trying to be able to sell not only the value that you provide, but a little bit about yourself and your company as well. So it was, it was actually a, a challenging exercise, there's a lot of value to it. I thought that the experience was very rewarding, very enriching. I've never actually sat down and written or um, thought about the specific aspects that make a great elevator speech. And I got a lot of help from one of my teammates, which was great. I tend to go very technical, so this humanized the speech for me. Uh, World War II, you have to realize that Hispanics have more Medal of Honors per capita than any other group. I think learning about the history and the journey of Latinos within the United States and how far we've come, and I think being able to envision what my generation can do to contribute to the future. You have to understand where you've been and understanding at a greater level has really contributed a lot to what I can envision for our future. I didn't realize, nobody told me, my parents didn't tell me, you're illegal, don't say anything. The stories are so touching about grandfathers who served in World War II, parents who went to uh, Vietnam and, and came back to help their children, and they did it to become citizens. It was uh, really interesting to hear Dr. Juana talk yesterday because I, I, without having previous experience of her leadership and, and her background, I was very much touched. So um, I've already called my family back at home and talked to my, uh, my wife about it. I've truly enjoyed the training because it's so different. I have this mindset of how things are going to work. And here, immediately there was a connection with everyone. Juana makes you feel so comfortable. She energizes the group. It's great to be I can feel the energy, I can feel the excitement, I can feel that, that many individuals and youth, probably it will be different causes, different uh, organizations, but we all believe in making somebody else's life better. 
I want you to go home with at least maybe six concepts or tools that really can transform you know, your work because I think that's the essence of emotional intelligence. Our curriculum is so wonderful. To be able to see that these leaders are right here, right now, investing in them because we care so much about the future. This is the kind of program that really provides the specific details. It's the keystone that allows us to move forward up into the corporate ranks. We can see now through the Corporate Achievers Summit where 60 of our leaders come back and it's going to be a network that continues and we're 350 strong now through the 10 years. We have this incredible feeling in this group about the fact that we're all from different places and different communities, different countries, but we have a common vision through our culture and through the experiences that we have about what we're going to contribute to America and how Latinos really are poised to be the leaders of this century. We want to thank our whole sponsor, Altria, as well as all of our sponsors of the Acer Young Hispanic Corporate Achievers Program.